31 Digital rocks. Good one. So we're here with Mark and Dash. Now, guys, can you tell the camera and uh, the viewers at home, who are you guys and what are you doing here? Uh, we're both stand-up comedians, Mum McConville and Dash. Hi, uh, Mum. How are you? And uh, we're here... Hi, Mark's Mum. <laughs> we're here for the uh, Survive 3 house. So uh, basically we're promoting the fact that can you survive three days if you were cut off from... Um, you know, civilization in a in storm. In a flood situation or after a storm. You know, I mean, you know, in Queensland there's a lot of storm events coming into storm season, September and October, and um, the SES and NRMA, you know, uh, are sponsoring this thing just to uh, give people the opportunity to get worded up about being emergency prepared uh, for the storms and uh, and what to do in flood situations. So we've got lots of great give up stuff to give away. And yep, and, it's, and basically, so we're here, they've um, had different comedians throughout the show, so we're here for a few days and um, work living off solar panels, solar power, and uh, emergency rations, food-wise. We'll, and we'll, that sort uh, we'll of show stuff. you. We'll show you our accommodation. We'll you. We're actually here at the Echo, living, living, here living three days. Yeah. What have you got going on here? Okay, so we do we do have um, items that are powered up. We've actually got solar panels out the front, which oh. charge up the main batteries. It's just a case of charging everything up mm. yeah. and then using it sparingly. I've got Mike here and he's from the SES, so Mike can you just tell us um, what the stall is here for and what you guys are promoting? This is a storm safety awareness display, uh, it's something a little bit different to what we usually do when uh, government messaging for emergency services is you know, very serious most of the time. So I guess this is more of a fun way, uh, we're engaging with people on a different level, we're doing a lot of work on Facebook and Twitter, posting a lot of YouTube videos and um, just trying to get the message across to people that storm season is coming soon and if you do a few little things to get prepared, it'll make a lot of difference and make the, possibly a tough situation just that little bit easier to get through. Mm -hmm. Let's bring out Molly. This is Molly Bedniam, our fish, Siamese fighting fish. Siamese fighting. Yeah, he's in there. Can you see him? Okay, so this is a boy fish called Molly. Yeah, well, I like Molly Meldrum. Oh, right, uh, good. Fluorescent blue. It reminded me of Molly Meldrum. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, and he's doing a great job. And, you know, one of the things that people forget in, their, in preparing for storms and emergencies, you know, that a lot of people have pets. Mm. If you are cut off, having the ability to communicate with the outside world to start with is very important. Finding out information about, you know, like road closures and... and flood heights. Mm. Flood heights. So it's about that. keeping connected and staying safe. That's oh, right, yeah keeping, yeah. keeping connected is a huge part of staying safe, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for uh, sharing your knowledge and um, for doing this. Yeah, no, we're Thanks happy. for coming yeah. and saying yeah. hi. Yeah, no worries. And um, where can the viewers catch you guys on another day when you're not in this house? When we're not in this house? Um, well, well, I'll be at the Sit Down Comedy Club next week uh, with Tom Gleason. I've got my own show coming up, Bargain at uh, the Sit Down Comedy Club uh, every Wednesday, 29th of September through to the 12th, 15th of August. Book now, book tickets, please. Get me out of here. <laughs> and, uh, and Mark? And uh, I've got various shows coming up around Brisbane over the next few months, so uh, markmcconville.com.au is the best place to go for any information on stuff I've got coming up, so cool. Well, there you have it. Good work, guys. Thanks, Tara. Thank you. <laughs> One of the quintessential things you need to do when you're at the Ecker is get one of these strawberry sundaes. All proceeds go to charity to help out those who are less fortunate. Now let's go inside, get a look behind the scenes and see how these awesome creations are made. Good afternoon, Christine. So you're at the uh, Strawberry Square, I believe. So yep. What's the purpose of Strawberry Square? Strawberry Square makes the iconic Eka Strawberry Sundays. So it's one of the six stalls that, that the Prince Charles Hospital Foundation is running this year. So they're obviously in big demand in this hot weather. Mm. It's beautiful today. It's so hot. And I noticed that Chris's Sunday went down very, very fast. Very quickly, yes, <laughs> yes. And so the funds that come from here, what would they actually be um, put to at the hospital? So we fund medical research. So there's a whole variety over the last, this is our 24th year, and in the past 23 years we've raised $1.1 million for medical research just through selling these strawberry sundaes. These are all of our fantastic volunteers, and uh, we, have a, we have stations, so you've got scooping and chopping and another scooping and some cream, and uh, the people who put the strawberry on the top. And then of course we have people who wash dishes and clean up, and basically it's just busy constantly. 
How many strawberries do you think you would have cut up over the ecker? Oh, about 10,000 maybe, and I don't like strawberries. <laughs> wow. So I'm the best person to do the job. I'm not going to lick my fingers and I'm not going to eat any. We're hoping to do about 140,000 strawberry sundaes this year. Last year we sold 126,000. So fingers crossed, it's been really beautiful hot weather, so people are gulping them down. That strawberry sundae surely was delicious and filling, but as we made our way through the echo, we found even more awesome food for everyone's taste. Just like the cinnamon, it's cardamom cloves, honey, milk powder, you know, just put on the hot water. Mm. It's really nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, I'm here at the uh, German Sausage Hut and I am myself a big fan of sausages. Let's check this out. Hello guys, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Is it your first time at the Ecker? It's my personally my first time at the Ecker, yeah, okay. yeah. And do you like it here? I like it very much. I've been around, and um, but most of the time I'm here seeing happy people all around us. The shop is in Burnett Lane. We have Hock Hock Nights or schnitzels and some more nice German food over there. Yeah, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. We are fully licensed as well. Nice. Guten Appetit. <laughs> I don't know about you, Tara and Tina, but I'm just totally buggered after my day at the 2012 Echo. I've been on the ghost train and that just scared the wits out of me. I've been sucked up on the Gravitron, the Twister and every other ride you can think of. Full of dag with dogs, strawberry ice creams. I've had enough, but uh, what a great day. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was. Yeah. But hey, what about the night's events and the fireworks? Okay, we need to see what's going on, so we stayed back after Campo had left to check out the Echo at night. 